Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Human Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at the environmental impacts of energy production. Environmental welfare. When extracting material from the earth, it's clear that the earth is going to suffer. This will damage the environment around it and the damage can come from renewable and non-renewable goods. Examples of how energy production impacts the environment includes the use of fuel wood gathering, acid rain and nuclear power management as well as climate change. Climate change is probably what happens when all of these effects from the use of fuel wood, perhaps acid rain, and using nuclear power can come out to can actually um, result in occurring. So we have to look and take good care of our planet in order for it to prosper. The impact of non-renewable resources. Non-renewable resources such as coal and oil are infamous for their famous waste products such as that of CO2. When burned, they give off waste gases which can harm the environment. The supposed greenhouse effect states that these gases are going to trap solar radiation in them which is going to raise the Earth's temperature because it prevents them from leaving the atmosphere. The impact of renewable resources. Renewable resources also can have an impact on the environment but they tend to have less of an impact on it. Examples include the potential destruction of habitats when we're building a a, an HEP plant, otherwise known as you know a dam, and also it can prevent their migration routes, which is always a problem. Deforestation, when we're using bioenergy, can occur, which is hard because then that can destroy habitat production and also animals. And killing sea life, when we're using marine turbines and tidal energy, can harm biodiversity and disrupt the food chain. Here are some questions on the impacts that we get onto the environment from the use of energy. Answer these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video and hit play for whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on the use of gathering fuel wood. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.